Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michela. I'm a cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube and if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. Today's video we're budgeting out my second paycheck of December. This is the third to last paycheck of the year. That is so crazy. But let's go ahead, dive right in and get to budgeting. All right, I have got my budget breakdown here in front of me. And like I said, this is December number two. I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker. And we're gonna be budgeting my income. So this is Michelle. This is my regular nine to five paycheck. And we are budgeting $1,112. All right, so we are going to just dive right in to the good stuff so we're gonna start off with the envelopes that go into my wallet and i usually put the same amounts every single week so starting off with groceries we do 100 dollars. dining out um this kind of fluctuates um we've been pretty good about keeping it between like 60 and 70 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and just do 60 this week and um we were able to keep it under last week which i'm pretty happy with um so we're i'm hoping that we we can continue to do that all right gas gas prices i'm so excited they have gone down so much um i'm probably gonna be filling up because i fill up at least once a week and then zach it's i feel like it's about time that he does so i'm gonna go ahead and put 80 dollars into this category and we shall see what happens <laughs> with that and then for my spending and my husband Zach's spending, I'm gonna go ahead and do our usual $20 that we each get to spend on whatever our hearts desire. Usually mine goes to coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and total up this category. So that is $280 going into my wallet minus that $20 um, of Zach spending, that'll go straight to his wallet. He keeps it, he rolls it over if he doesn't use all of it. I like to put mine into a rollover envelope, but he just keeps his to use next next time. Okay, then we have my bills, yay. So I am going to be referencing my weekly minimums sheet for this. So I'm gonna head over to that. So my weekly minimums, oh, I need to turn my pin off to go to it. So for our utilities, I have broken down, well, for all of my bills, I have broken down how much I need to stuff each week until it's due date. So for utilities, we have, oh goodness, what did I just do? Sorry, guys. I, I think I just like hit the back button or something. Um, so for utilities, that includes our electricity, gas, water, and Wi-Fi. So electricity, we need $10 a week, according to my chart here. Our gas bill, we need 23 a week. Our Wi-Fi, we need 33. And our water, we need 50. So that's $116 that is going to my utilities. That is a lot, but we did get kind of behind. Um, oops, I need to turn my pin back on now that I'm back on this page. Okay, our phone bill. So we're gonna go back. <laughs> to our weekly minimums and for my phone bill i determined we needed probably a lot where's that it's vendor verizon there we are that is fifty dollars we need to put into that so i'm gonna go ahead and write 50 in for our phone bill perfect and then we're gonna do our monthly uh, monthly subscriptions are next, so I have my minimums for that as well. Oh my goodness, Michelle, you need to get better at this. Okay, so for monthly, let's see, that includes Spotify, that's for four, Twitch, that's three, iCloud, we'll do a dollar, Disney Plus is four, that's it. So $12 is going to go into my monthly subscriptions. Go back to week two. 
Put our pin back on. Okay, monthly subscriptions. Subscriptions. Saying subscriptions so many times has gotten me... It makes it feel like it's not even a real word right now. Okay, yearly subscriptions. I think my iPad is actually dying. <laughs> okay, so my yearly includes $14 for my antivirus, $12 for Costco, $2 for Sam's Club, $3 for Prime, and $2 for a ring. So that's $33 going into yearly. And then we have a parking fee and car insurance. I'm gonna memorize these ones. I'm gonna memorize these ones so we don't have to go back to the weekly minimums page. So six months car insurance is 40. I'm gonna type that in. And then what was the other one? Parking, that's 30. Okay, so insurance, 40, parking, 30, I think. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> All right. So um, maybe in the future, I'll just kind of like put these on there so we don't have to do that again. All right. So let me total up our bills. So that is 281. Whew. That is a lot. Okay. Then it just seems like a lot because our water bill is due only every two months. Um, and I just did not save ahead for it. <laughs> so it's like $150 every two months. So if I just like, you know, been a little bit better at my budgeting, I wouldn't have had to uh, deal with that. All right. For our cashless, we have our mortgage. So our mortgage, we just leave in the bank. So we budget, you know, a certain amount out of our paycheck each week. And then we just leave that amount in the bank because it's just you know, it's just a couple hundred dollars extra each week that we don't want to have to pull out. So it's $1,500 a month and we have four paychecks to save for it. So we're going to put 375 in every single week until we get what we need. Okay, so let's see where we're at because I don't know if we're going to have very much left over. So 1,112 minus our 280 for our wallet minus 281 for expenses minus 375 equals $177. Whew, that is not much to work with y'all. So we have 177 left. Let's go ahead and um, we are going to go ahead and not stuff month ahead. We're not gonna do any in our mystery 15 or my 26 envelope challenge. I just don't have enough left over for that and that is okay. Um, our 52 week challenge, we do need to, I think, do at least, I would like to do at least one in there to stay on track, but if we can't, we can't. Um, so let's see where we're at on that. I don't know, we, we should, yeah, we'll do number 48. Number 48 is next, let's do number 48. So that is right there. So then I'll deduct that from here. And then up here in sinking funds, I definitely want to do my 33 for baby. That's something I definitely have to do. So it's 96 left. And then for our likes challenge, we got 81 likes on my latest budget with me video at the time of me filming this. So 81 divided by three because each like is worth 33 cents is 27. So we're gonna do $27 into my likes challenge. So we had 96 left over minus 27 at 69. Why do I keep turning turning this off? I just wanted to erase that. And then home right now, I like to do at least, at least a little bit. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna throw $10 into it because at least it's something. So that's it for savings and we have 50, ooh, wow, wow, wow. We have $59 left over for my sinking funds. Wow, that's so great. <laughs> okay, so let's cross off the ones we absolutely do not need anything in. So I don't have to put anything into Costco. I don't have to put anything into household, beauty, clothes, coffee. 
um, YouTube or Shop Small or even Vacation. Zach can get $5. Miscellaneous can get $5. Health, I want to put a little bit into. Same with car. Gifts and fun can also each get $10. And then I do have a second page <laughs> for my sinking funds because I have so many. Um, as far as these go, really, truly, let's just do, you know what, I want to do at least a little bit. So let's go ahead and do a dollar into each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have $21. And... You know what, let's go ahead and do a, um... Let's do a mystery 15. So I'm going to see. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my mystery 15 box. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. So my mystery 15, this is from the Sassy Mystic. And there are a lot <laughs> of, of envelopes in here. Um, but the fun part is, is that the black ones are mystery. They're scratchers. So I'm just going to do one and I'm going to, if it's a 40, I have to put it back because I don't have $40. So I'm not looking, I promise. It's a 10. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to set this to the side and we're going to do a 10 into that. Oops. I suppose I could put this back on the screen for y'all. So 10 and then should I risk it? I have $11 left. I'm going to try. I'm going to try for it for the 26 envelope challenge. So for that, I got a new box for it. Well, it's not new. It's new to you, not new to me. Um, I A friend made this a long time ago when she asked me to be um, matron of honor in her wedding. So I kept it and I was like, oh my gosh, this will be perfect for this challenge. So I got this set in a mystery box from Breezy Budget Shops. And I've already done the number 25 last week. So if I get... If I get uh, 11 or below, I'll do it. If I don't, I'll put back until I get it. All right, so there's a 15, so I can't do that one. Okay, eight, I'll do that one. So $8, I'm gonna put that on the side. So we will do $8 into our 26 week. I just love saving so much, you guys, I can't not do it. You just saw me cross these out and then change my mind and do it again. <laughs> All right, so minus eight. So that gives us $3. And I am going to put those $3 into Zach. We'll give him a total of eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and total up our sinking funds here. So I believe that's $66. And then for savings, that does not seem right. We have 103. Oh, and I for sinking funds, I did forget these down here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, Valentine's Day is fully funded. So I'm gonna put that extra dollar just into Halloween, just the one below it. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 66 plus eight, so there's actually 74 going into sinking funds. Okay, so now it is the time for the moment of truth. We're gonna see if all of my categories add up to 1,112. So we have 280 for my wallet. We have 281 for bills. We have 375 for my mortgage. We have 74 for sinking funds and 103 for savings. I'm a dollar off, but you know what guys? I'm gonna take it, 1,113. I will take a little bit of time to see where I got my dollar off and we will get her fixed. Maybe I'll just take that dollar off of Halloween and we'll just have $1 going to that. But that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's budget with me. We really made our stretch, got some savings challenges done that I didn't think I was going to. So that's everything I have for you today. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. 
give this video a like so I have to put more money into my likes challenge. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.